Welcome to the political thriller of 1964, Seven Days in May. A cinematic exploration of power, loyalty, and the fragility of democracy, this film, directed by John Frankenheimer, unfolds against the backdrop of Cold War tensions. As you delve into the narrative, you'll find yourself questioning the thin line between patriotism and conspiracy. But before we dissect the intricacies of the plot, let me pose a question. Out of the many roles in this movie, which one was your favorite? Seven Days in May invites viewers to reflect not only on the political turmoil depicted on screen, but also on personal connections to the film. Do you have a cherished memory associated with this movie? Whether it's a shared viewing experience or a moment that resonated with you, we're curious to hear your stories and memories. Share them in the comments below. Now, let's pivot to some intriguing facts about the movie. Set during a time when the world teetered on the edge of nuclear confrontation, the film stars heavyweights such as Burt Lancaster, Kirk Douglas, and Frederick March. Its exploration of the potential military coup in the United States provides a gripping narrative that remains relevant even today. As you watch the characters navigate the delicate balance between national security and democratic principles, consider the parallels to contemporary issues. The tension, suspense, and stellar performances make Seven Days in May a timeless classic. Before we wrap up, we'd love to hear from you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this movie? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Engage with fellow enthusiasts and let the conversation flourish. So, as you revisit or discover Seven Days in May, keep these questions in mind and let the discussions begin. Seven Days in May, directed by John Frankenheimer in 1964, is a gripping political thriller that unfolds against the backdrop of Cold War tensions. Adapted from the novel of the same name by Fletcher Nebel and Charles W. Bailey II, the film explores a plausible scenario of a military coup in the United States. The story revolves around President Jordan Lyman, played by Frederick March, who discovers a secret military plan named ECONCON, devised by General James Mattoon Scott, portrayed by Burt Lancaster, to overthrow the government due to concerns about the President's disarmament treaty with the Soviet Union. Kirk Douglas takes on the role of Colonel Martin Casey, the loyal aide to the president, who becomes a crucial figure in uncovering the conspiracy. The film masterfully weaves suspense and political intrigue, drawing attention to the delicate balance of power between civilian leadership and the military establishment. With its taut screenplay and stellar performances, Seven Days in May remains a timeless exploration of the complexities within the American political landscape. Its impact resonates through the years, influencing subsequent political thrillers and contributing to discussions on the fragility of democracy. This classic film, with its thought-provoking narrative and stellar cast, has cemented its place in cinematic history as a poignant examination of power, loyalty, and the preservation of democratic ideals. In the 1964 movie Seven Days in May, an intriguing subplot involving Eleanor Holbrook draws inspiration from a real-life incident with General Douglas MacArthur. In 1934, the general sued journalists Drew Pearson and Robert Allen for libel, dropping the suit only when they intended to take testimony from Isabel Rosario Cooper, the general's former mistress. This historical parallel adds a layer of authenticity to the film's narrative highlighting the complexities of power and personal relationships within the military and political spheres. Director John Frankenheimer skillfully weaves this subplot into the larger fabric of the movie, contributing to the tense atmosphere surrounding the attempted coup against the U.S. government. As the story unfolds, the audience is presented with a nuanced exploration of loyalty, ambition, and the delicate balance between personal and political motives. The film also introduces a unique twist related to the timing of the coup, coinciding with the Preakness Stakes horse race. Despite the initial logistical challenge of the coup occurring on a Sunday while the Preakness is traditionally run on a Saturday, Frankenheimer ingeniously resolves this issue with a clever script adjustment. A character walks by a poster proclaiming the first ever Sunday running of the Preakness, seamlessly integrating the historical event into the film's timeline. 
Amidst the on-screen tension, there's an interesting off-screen dynamic between the stars Burt Lancaster and Kirk Douglas. Despite appearing in seven films together, their friendship remains a subject of dispute. Director Frankenheimer suggests that while they were indeed friends, their working relationship was strained by Douglas' alleged jealousy of Lancaster and Lancaster's renowned ego. This adds an intriguing layer of behind-the-scenes drama to the overall narrative. In summary, Seven Days in May goes beyond being a gripping political thriller by incorporating real-life inspirations and addressing the complexities of personal relationships. The film's careful attention to historical details and its portrayal of off-screen dynamics contribute to its enduring legacy as a thought-provoking exploration of power and democracy. Kirk Douglas had a pivotal encounter with President John F. Kennedy, who enthusiastically endorsed the idea of adapting Seven Days in May into a movie. At a dinner, Kennedy spent half an hour expressing his belief in the story's cinematic potential. This presidential endorsement not only highlighted the relevance of the film, but also fueled its production. As the movie unfolds in a not-too-distant future, set in the early 1970s, it incorporates futuristic elements that were cutting-edge for its time. The inclusion of advanced technology, such as a wall-projecting slide viewer, television-based teleconference equipment, and a digital time-date display at the Pentagon, aim to create a high-tech environment. These details, often overlooked by modern audiences, showcase the filmmaker's foresight in envisioning a technologically advanced world. Moreover, director John Frankenheimer's first-hand experience in the Air Force brought a unique authenticity to the portrayal of the Pentagon. His familiarity with the military institution added a layer of realism to the film, capturing the intricacies and nuances of the political and military landscape. In conclusion, the convergence of Kirk Douglas' conversation with President Kennedy, the futuristic vision of the film, and Frankenheimer's military background collectively contribute to the unique and compelling narrative of Seven Days in May. The film's blend of political intrigue and technological foresight remains a testament to its enduring impact on cinema. As we bid adieu to the captivating tale woven in Seven Days in May, let the threads of this cinematic masterpiece linger in the loom of your thoughts. Like a fine tapestry, the intricacies of political intrigue and the dance of power have left an indelible mark on your consciousness. Now, as the credits roll and the echoes of the characters' dilemmas resonate within you, take a moment to reflect. Consider the echoes of this 1964 Gemma Cold War symphony that still hums in the background of our modern world. What chord did it strike within you? Did you find parallels between the film's narrative and today's geopolitical landscape? Or did the characters' struggles serve as a mirror reflecting your own battles with morality and duty? In this celluloid time capsule, each frame is a vessel of memories, emotions, and contemplations. What scenes stirred your soul? Which lines etched themselves into the recesses of your mind? Whether it's the tension of political machinations or the quiet moments of introspection, your personal connection to Seven Days in May is a unique fingerprint in the cinematic gallery of your life. Now, it's your turn to share the pages of your mental screenplay. What memories or thoughts has this film carved into the annals of your movie-watching history? Engage with us, unravel the layers of your experience, and let the dialogue flow. The comments section below awaits your cinematic confessions, creating a collective tapestry of perspectives that enrich our understanding of this timeless classic. As we embark on this journey of shared reflections, we extend our heartfelt gratitude for your time and interest. Your presence in this dialogue adds a vibrant hue to the canvas of our community. Until the next Reel Unspools, thank you for being part of this cinematic discourse. Reflect, share, and immerse yourself in the timeless narrative of Seven Days in May. Your story is the missing scene we've been waiting for.